Hello there everybody. In response to a comment I had on a movie I made about how to make this pipe with benzene, I got the comment, could the same method that I used to make that be used to make curved holes in solid objects? Well it turns out that it is certainly possible. In fact, I'm going to explain now two methods of how to put curved holes in solid objects. So here goes. Okay, we'll start by putting a sketch plane on this end face. We'll make it face us nicely. We want it a little bit smaller and we'll move it up. And we're going to make a block to put our curvy hole in. What you do, you need to pull it. Turn it around and we're going to pull this back face up to that face there and now we've got a block that our pipe will fit in nicely so we should get a hole starting on this face and coming out of this face. The next thing we're going to do is to get rid of some things we don't need here, the plane, delete uh, this service here we don't need that so we'll delete that one. Now we can use these curves that were constructed to actually pull the pipe we can use them within the block to pull a hole through the block so we're going to make sure that they are visible over here and then we can select them one by one or all together shift click select the move tool and then we can move them all down into the block now once we click all these lines will disappear because they're embedded inside the block thus so to enable us to draw on them we need to go to wireframe mode now we can see our trajectory we go back to design mode and we're going to draw a circle to pull through so we find the end and draw a circle why is it not drawing a circle try again well this time it is so I know that the minimum radius of the the curve the trajectory is five millimeters so we're going to draw a circle with four millimeters radius which is eight millimeter diameter and we're going to use the pull tool select our circle on the trajectory we need to double click on this to select it all so we've got the trajectory selected and our circle selected now because we're pulling a hole in a solid block we need to now you might have seen a little pop up there doesn't want to do it anymore anyway over here we can select the minus cut we will now cut inside the block with our hole so we left click and drag and we can now go back to the display shaded and design and we've now got a curved hole in click on select to get rid of the tool so there we are 
if we were to select this we'll select it line and all of those we'll select that and if we go to the section mode and cut a section through whoops how oh, come on come on that's what we've cut in the block and that is one way to do it here comes another way the first thing we're going to do is to rename these items in the structure tree left click rename we'll rename that one pipe and guess what we're going to rename this one Look. So now we can select the pipe, move tool, and drag it down inside the block. So we're going to use the combine tool, so we click on the combine tool. It's asking us to choose a target object. Click on target object denoted by the block next to the mouse pointer so we select block come back and we see we've now got a saw so select the cutter object and that's going to be the pipe select the pipe and look here we have two extra solids we've got another thing next to the pointer which is a solid block above a transparent block we don't want that at the moment just to demonstrate what's happened so we can deselect and go to select tool to deselect it all but here we can select move tool so these two solids have been cut out by our pipe so we can move them out That's the inside of the pipe. That one is the pipe wall, which is virtually another pipe. And we've also got the original pipe, which we can move out. So there we have another hole through. and a bonus of several other bits to play with <laughs> so there you have it, two methods of putting curved holes in an object hope you enjoyed that, hope it's useful to you all bye for now